welcome back welcome to this awareness course where we have 30 days schedule and on daily basis we are covering one topic i'm sure it is easy to spare 15 20 minutes on daily basis so that we can at least go through few things and we can learn few new things also right so we'll begin with safety talk we'll go through three subtopics today's subtopics after these uh, explanations then we'll go through the quiz we will have 20 mcq questions along with correct answers we'll have explanations also so don't forget to share with your friends don't forget to subscribe also look into the description box where a lot of links have been given you can go through the links you can navigate through the content uh, published on this youtube channel and on epc land right a lot of videos courses free and paid both a lot of quizzes are there right articles are there you can go through that if you like the content don't forget to share with your friends so let's begin let's welcome our friend mr peter who will explain the today's topic so first begin with the safety talk so let's start hello everyone today's safety talk is about the safe operation of hand and power tools to keep you safe while using these tools tool inspection before using any hand or power tool, make sure to inspect it thoroughly. Check for any signs of damage, wear, or defects. Do not use a tool that's in poor condition. Right tool for the job, use the appropriate tool for the specific task you're performing. Using the wrong tool can lead to accidents and damage to the tool itself. Well-lit and clutter-free area, ensure that your work area is well-lit so you can see what you're doing. Also, keep the area free from clutter to avoid tripping or knocking tools over. Personal protective equipment, PPE always wear the necessary personal protective equipment, such as safety goggles, gloves, or ear protection, when using hand or power tools. Watch your fingers, keep your fingers and hands away from the moving parts and blades of the tools. It's easy to get injured if you're not paying attention. Disconnect power. When you're done using power tools or during maintenance, always disconnect them from the power source. This prevents accidental starts and keeps, keeps you safe. Remember, using hand and power tools correctly and safely is vital to prevent injuries. Stay alert and follow these safety guidelines to protect yourself and those around you. Hello everyone! Welcome back to our ASME B31.330 Day Beginner Course. In today's session, we will discuss the requirements for pipe insulation. Insulation plays a crucial role in maintaining the efficiency and safety of our piping systems. Pipe insulation serves several important purposes, and here are some key points to consider. Thermal efficiency Insulation helps to maintain the desired temperature of the fluid within the pipes, preventing heat loss and improving energy efficiency. Energy conservation, proper insulation reduces the amount of heat tra transferred to the surroundings, leading to energy savings and cost reduction. Personnel protection, insulation acts as a protective barrier, preventing contact with hot surfaces and reducing the risk of burns or injuries. Condensation control, insulation prevents condensation from forming on the surface of the pipes, which can help prevent corrosion and maintain system integrity. Noise reduction, insulation can help reduce the noise generated by fluid flow within the pipes, creating a quieter and more comfortable environment. Fire safety, in addition to its thermal properties, insulation can act as, as a barrier during a fire, slowing down the spread of flames and enhancing safety. Environmental impact, proper insulation can contribute to reducing greenhouse gas emissions by conserving energy and resources. Regulatory compliance, meeting insulation standards and requirements is essential to ensure compliance with safety and environmental regulations. By understanding and implementing these insulation requirements, we can enhance the overall efficiency, safety, and environmental impact of our piping systems. In our next session, we will delve into the types of insulation materials and applications. Stay tuned as we continue to explore the fascinating world of piping engineering.
Hello everyone, welcome back to our ASME B31.330 Day Beginner Course. Today, we're diving into Day 12 where we'll explore types of insulation materials and applications. Insulation plays a crucial role in maintaining temperature, conserving energy, and ensuring safety in piping systems. Let's look at some common types of insulation materials and where they are often used. Fiberglass, this material is versatile, providing good thermal resistance and flexibility. It's commonly used for a wide range of temperatures. Mineral wool, known for its fire resistance and sound absorption properties, mineral wool is ideal for high temperature applications. Foam insulation, lightweight and easy to install, foam insulation is often chosen for energy conservation purposes. Cellular glass, Resistant to moisture and chemicals, cellular glass insulation finds its place in cryogenic applications. Reflective insulation, this type of insulation reflects heat away and is commonly used in HVAC, heating, ventilation, and air conditioning systems. Aerogel, with its exceptional efficiency, aerogel insulation is suitable for extreme temperature variations. Polyurethane, offering good thermal insulation, Polyurethane is commonly used for insulating pipes and equipment. Calcium silicate, this material is chosen for high temperature pipes and equipment due to its properties. Understanding the, diff the different types of insulation materials and their applications helps us make informed decisions when it comes to designing and maintaining piping systems. Stay tuned for our next topic on heat tracing for temperature maintenance. We're making steady progress through the world of piping engineering. Hello everyone, welcome back to our ASME B31.330 Day Beginner Course. Today, in Day 12, we'll delve into heat tracing for temperature maintenance. Heat tracing is a crucial technique to prevent freezing and maintain desired temperatures in piping systems. Let's explore the key points about heat tracing. Purpose, heat tracing is used to prevent freezing or maintain the desired temperature of fluids in pipes, valves, and equipment. Types, there are two main types of heat tracing, electric and steam tracing. Electric tracing uses electrical cables, while steam tracing uses steam pipes to maintain temperature. Installation, proper installation is essential. Heat tracing is wrapped around pipes, valves, and other components, following specific guidelines. Control, heat tracing systems include thermostats and, and sensors that regulate the heat output to prevent overheating. Energy efficiency, heat tracing helps save energy by preventing heat loss from pipes ensuring the fluid remains at the required temperature. Applications, heat tracing is widely used in various industries such as chemical processing, and gas, food and beverage, and more. Maintenance, regular maintenance and checks are important to ensure that the heat tracing system is functioning correctly. Any issues should be promptly addressed. Safety and efficiency, Heat tracing prevents product degradation and ensures that industrial processes run smoothly and efficiently. Understanding heat tracing is essential for maintaining the integrity and efficiency of piping systems in various industries. In our next session, we'll dive into preparing for pressure testing. Stay tuned as we continue our journey through the fundamentals of piping engineering.
by this we are done with today's topic we had safety talk we had a discussion on three subtopics quiz correct answers and their explanations so we are having 30 days schedule with us we are covering one topic a day so i'm sure 15 20 minutes we can spare on daily basis so that we can go through the content don't forget to share with your friends so that everybody gets to know at least few uh, new things don't forget to subscribe so that you get the latest updates we are going to launch many more awareness courses on this channel so it is if you are sub subscribing to this channel you will get the regular updates also don't forget to look into the description box where a lot of new links are given you can navigate through available courses free and paid both a lot of videos playlist quizzes which are published on uh, epc land so go through these links if you find something useful you can share with your friends also so by this we are going to cover rest of the topics also we'll tomorrow also we'll start with safety talk then we'll uh, have an explanation to these three subtopics then we'll have quiz along with the correct answers we'll have explanations so stay tuned keep learning thank you for watching